Hi guys, I'm Marcello. Welcome to a new gameplay video. Today we take a look at the Dungeons of Nahil book, The Amulet of Chaos by Artifact Studio. The game is a tomb based tactical RPG expected for summer 2020. Let's see the parameters. Let's change language. Anglais, well, anglais. Uh, okay. Let's jump into the game. This obviously is the demo version from the Steam Festival 2020. So A lot of friends talks very good about it. So I'm so curious to to try it and show you. You shall not pass. First chapter, a feeling of deja vu. The party advances. A steely-eyed ranger, a brutal barbarian, a ruthless ogre, a wizardess with fiery hair, an agile elf, a wily thief, a dwarf, well, you know, just a dwarf. Together, they have just crossed into the terrible dungeon of Nahelbuk. This dungeon's nothing to write home about. Don't know what we'll find inside here, but it stinks. That's easy. The ogre just took a dump five feet from the door. <laughs> I've got a strange feeling of deja vu. Because of the ogre shit? Have you been here before? I feel like I'd know if I had. Probably not. No one's ever got in here before. By the way, what is our quest? Let's find the 12th statuette of Battle Furon. A statuette? <laughs> in the tablets of Skellis, that only a one-legged gnome from the northern forest, dancing by the moonlight in the middle of 12 statuettes wrapped in ham. <laughs> <clears throat> As I was saying, only a one-legged gnome shall open the gates of Zaranbak, and thus accomplish the prophecy. But what is this strange prophecy? No idea. We're only in it for the gold. That's why we came here. Yeah, and I knocked before coming in. And I called you a half-wit. Ah. Okay, let's all get along, okay? Let's focus on the statuette. Do we have any idea where it's located? Like every statuette, it's in a treasure room, guarded by a powerful warlock. Battle! Sounds a bit right. What kind of monsters live here? So, if you look at the random encounter table, these are the monsters in this dungeon. Several kinds of undead, giant spiders, orcs and goblins. Hey, goblins. Underground trolls, warlocks, cursed knights, mutant rats, a bottle of oil, some toilet paper, two sponges, and ravioli. I think you're also reading your shopping list. So no dragons, right? Nah, well above our level, Cap. Anyway, let us go forth. Okay. Moving the party around is easy, just click anywhere on the ground. You can swap the leader by clicking on any character you choose. Okay. You can zoom in, zoom out. Okay, we can rotate the camera. Zoom in, zoom out. Arrived at a junction and must face three choices. Hmm. All those doors are closed and blocked off by a strange glass. Weird. And I'm having another deja vu. Oh, shiny, pretty. Probably some kind of magic lock we have to dispel. No way we're getting f***ed over by some goddamn door. My cousin Crimley always says, if it's magic, hit it harder. No, wait! Oh, 
getting more. Where are they? Shit. Hey, dwarf, elf. Dang it. Did everybody get lost but me? What's that noise? Good. Now you know the best. Go forth into the dungeons of Nabiluk. Find the members of your party. Okay. Let me see. Every character has two action points. They can perform an action and move once per turn. They can also move further by using both action points, sacrificing their action. This is sprinting. Okay. Order is not a problem. This means you can move, then attack, or the opposite. Be careful, at some point, action will end your turn even if your character still has two action points. Okay. This orb looks rather destructive. Move the ranger on one of the three tiles behind him. Okay. As you can see with this orc, the orientation of the characters is important. Backstabbing gives higher hit chance, critical chance, and will do more damage. Orient yourself toward the orc to backstab him. Okay. Time to attack. Select the melee attack in the action bar here below. Action bar. Melee attack. Here you find an overview of the affliction and status effect, which can affect characters and their duration. You can also check in this box their dodge value, their protection value, their level, and their treat level. Means the orc is suffering from a penalty to his characteristics for two turn. Okay. Here are the details of your hit chance. This is very important, as you can see you have a positioning bonus because you are standing behind the enemy, okay? However, if your attack succeeds, your enemy may still dodge or parry your blow. It's not just about having high hit chance. Attack the orc and kick his ass. The arc is not feeling so good. Use well click on him to access the details. The arc is weakened. This means he is less efficient now that he is all bent up. His chance, physical resistance and magical resistance are worse. Okay. There are three weakness thresholds depending on the character's health. If a character's health bar changes color this means they are weakened. Okay. This panel also uh, this panel also allows you to see the detail affliction which uh, affect the character. He here it's a penalty of one two movement for a duration of two turn. Now kill the orc. Attacking an enemy twice without moving between attack grants you a focused bonus, which raises your hit chance on an enemy that you already attacked during your previous turn. Okay. In the com at the end of a combat, all characters gain some experience. They gain a baseline share just for him participating to the combat, and a varying amount depending on their action or their luck. A character who goes unconscious during combat will suffer a small penalty to their experience gain. The ranger is wounded. Heal him by giving him a potion or with a party heal button. Health does not regenerate between battles, so you have to make sure to heal your wounds after combat. 
bad. Reminds me of my granny's. Okay. Hooray! You saved me! Uh, this is... Yeah, he, he's... Uh, I mean, they're gone. There were more than one? So many I couldn't even count them. But I killed one, but sent them all running. Are you alright? It was horrible. I found myself in these disgusting toilets. But where are the others? Uh, what's going on? Because that moronic dwarf must have triggered a magic trap. The whole party's been scattered around this floor. We need to find them. Um, how about we don't find the dwarf? <laughs> oh, we'll need his axe if there are other orcs. Don't you think you could handle them by yourself? Yeah, that's... I mean, the greatest heroes have their limits. Anyway, let's not hang around here. During the planning phase, you can deploy your characters before combat starts. You can position your characters in the highlighted area. Movement doesn't cost action point during the planning phase, so you can take as long as you want to strategize. Still, we hold your hand and it's your first time. Sell the elf who is out of cover. Okay. Okay, we have the cover system. Have her take cover on our highlighted tile to protect her. Full cover can protect you from ranged attack. They give you your they give your opponent a 40 penalty to their hit chance. Okay. Now select the ranger. Hiding behind elf cover will not fully protect. He gives a 20 penalty. Now select the thief. Position him on one of our highlighted tiles so that he is protected from ranged attack and can sneak up. Okay, here's how the order of, ac of action is determined. Initiative is ranked depending on the character's courage. If their courage is equivalent, the higher dexterity is prioritized. The higher the sister, then the level of the characters. If their level are the same, then it's up to chance. Okay, click on fight. Let's start. This orc is now in vigilance, which means he's keeping an eye on the area and will attack an enemy that enters it. Since he has not moved before going to vigilance, he can make two vigilance shots. If he had moved, he would only be able to make Ranger could move forward, but this would get him shot by the Ogi Mijana too dangerous. Time to talk about the ability to delay, delay your turn. If a character has not used any action point, they can delay their turn to play at the end of, of a round. They will act their normal initiative the following turn. It's a useful ability when you'd like to let another character, friend or foe act before you do. Now delay the Ranger's turn. Thief is not the toughest or even the bravest of fighter, but he can dish out a lot of damage and interfere with foes. Time to get rid of these orc vigilances. Move mouse over to make his vigilance area appear on the ground. Okay. 
this is the vigilance area the enemy is watching is one of your character entered this area they'll be targeted by vigilance shot a character who has entered vigilance mode without moving before okay if a character in the take damage uh, the vigilance will be concealed okay During movement you can set some waypoint with left CTRL. This will give you the ability to determine a specific path for your character instead of a suggested path. If the movement area becomes yellow, this means you will sprint. Okay, sprinting will allow you to move further but will consume both your action point. Move your teeth closer by setting waypoint on the highlighted tiles. Okay. One. Ah, see to the One, two. Okay. Now, the tip toward the oak. The elf is a former pony grooming champion, branding category. She also the least bad character with a bow and has some super skills that can be quite useful. Move over the highlighted tile to see which target the elf can shoot. Okay, aiming arcs and able to preview which target you can reach by moving over the color of arcs while depending on your hit chance. Okay, usually archer cannot shoot if an enemy is at melee range unless the ladder is knocked over, stunned and frozen move here select the standard range attack and move a mouse over the arc to ready your shot your range is highlighted in red if a character friend or foe is attached to your target and in your line of sight they will be highlighted orange meaning there's a chance you shot it hit them by accident the probability of this happening is equivalent to 10% of your hit chance it is shown in red in your hit chance detail Okay, now attack. Let's see what happens. Now that the vigilance has been concealed, you can safely move the ranger forward. Okay. Select your melee. Now let's talk about super. This is a crucial mechanic. When an ally is oriented toward your target, they will provide you with their super. Usually support will grant you a 5% bonus to your agents. You can stack multiple support but only with melee attack. Okay. Characters with high charisma will gain a bonus to their hit chance for every supporting character. Here's the ranger has a 20, is a 9 bonus to hit chance instead of 5 thanks to his charisma. Finally, a support does not require an action, a character can support an attack even if they have already taken their turn for this run. Okay. Bingo. Wrong move. The orc just took two opportunity attack to the face to the face when fling. Each character controls the three tiles in front of them. If an enemy leaves this area, they will be hit by an opportunity attack. This type of attack deals slightly less damage than a normal attack but cannot but cannot but dodged or parried. It can still miss however. Be mindful of opportunity attacks when planning your moves. And the combat. Oh. 
mining boots Hordes of orcs to get here. Bloodthirsty and cunning orcs, mind you. And you wouldn't believe the stink in those toilets. Uh, you're losing me. He says he's stuck and can't open the gate. Looks like some kind of pantry, but it's empty. He says he only had a small bite. Hmm. I see. There must be some kind of mechanism somewhere. Levers can be far from the mechanism they activate. Investigate the room for a lever to free the oak. You can use tab to highlight an interactable object in your surrounding. Okay. Engine hail. Now open the inventory to check out the content of the ogre's pack. The ogre is one, of, is one who carries all your inventory on the right. But each character has their own equipment on the left. Okay, there's a weight limit to your inventory so you, can, you can't just carry everything around with you. Look the bow you found in your last combat, mouse over it to check out its characteristic. You can read about the characteristics of a weapon in the highlighted area. All weapons share the same force dot, but some also have additional magic property. Okay, damage, okay, damage range, hit chance, okay, critical chance, and critical damage. Good. Each character can be equipped with a main weapon and a secondary weapon, with the exception of the Oak and the Wizard who can only use one weapon. The ranger can equip a bow as a secondary weapon. Equip the bow you just found by right clicking. Okay. Equip. Okay. You can navigate between characters by clicking on the portraits. Look, the portrait of Yogi is red. This means he suffered from a wound. Click on him. Wounded leg. Wounds can be healed by bandage or by re resting in Taiwan. He will suffer the penalty associated with wound as long as it's not healed. If a character falls in combat again while still wounded, the wounded will get worse, raising the corresponding penalty. There are three wounds threshold. Okay. Use a bandage from your for inventory to heal this nasty looking wound. To use a bandage, you can right click and use. Okay. Go back to the game whenever you are ready. Well, we have if mining boots. The poor get poorer. Crap, what a mess. Okay, I can't I keep now this mining boots. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna show you display characteristic. Okay. Dexterity, strength, constitution, intelligence, courage, charisma, damage bonus, precision, critical hit strength, stamina, stamina, protection, parry, dodge, physical, magical resistance, support, movement, and overflow. Okay. Let's go. The wizardess keeps the map updated. It's usually best to act as if you know where you're going, although I'm pretty used to most players fooling around by clicking haphazardly. The wizard wizardess is in charge of a danger map at the 
and the quest journal. Open it to learn more. The quest journal on the left, here you can only find the objectives to your main quest, but also to your secondary quests. The map is on the right, you can use it to get your bearing around the dungeon and it will be updated throughout your progress. Okay. Side quest, archive. Should it be me? Rangers are usually the scouts. Coward! Yes, sir. It's a perfectly honorable life choice. Time for lunch, guys! Come on! Grab time! Intruders. Let's eat them too! Maybe I could go back to the inn to ask for help. Shut up. We got no use for whips. You have to fight like everybody else. Now that you've gathered some of your party, your characters have unlocked their first skills, which will prove useful to defeat these orcs. Begin combat by pressing fight. The ranger is a jack of all trades. Ranger attacks, supports, heals, he has a lot of options. Select one of his tactical skills to learn more. Okay. Tactical assault advance. Advanced strategy to increase the accuracy of an ally, allies, ah, of all allies. Only one tactic can be used. Only one tactic can be used at a time. While Dutch advanced and increase the parry and dodge of all. Yes, let's try this. Here you'll find useful information about your skill. Every skill costs endurance, and has a cooldown period. You'll, you'll gain back some endurance at the beginning of every turn. Okay. The ranger at level 1 can use tactics. These skills can influence all your allies no matter where they are on the map. Okay. Once activated, a tactic will stay active until the end of a combat or until the ranger dies. Only one tactic can be activated at any time. If you choose to, to use another, it will cancel the effect of the first one. Tactic Assault is an offensive buff, while Tactic Defense is a defensive one. Select a new tactic that you wish to have. Okay. Now move your Ranger on the highlighted area. The Ogre is your most brutal character. However, he is not that accurate. That's why he could use some support from your other characters. Oh, and he doesn't really like wearing armor. The ogre is the Kadola or Poke skill. It, in Ogresh, this means please mind my personal space. Get closer to the Og in order to use it. Kadola can push an enemy back two tiles. Since the ranger is oriented toward your target, the gun. Um, also be targeted by an opportunity attack if he push it back. Ah, okay. The wizardess is your area of effect specialist. She is frail, but he powerful attacks. Her powerful attack can hit multiple enemies simultaneously. Her attacks can also inflict some powerful status effect like burning or frozen. Okay, there's an archer. First thing first, let's take over. At level 1, the wizard has two spells under her belt. A Cure ones and the formidable Waza will win. Spells cost astral energy and also have a cooldown period. You'll get some astral energy back at the beginning of every turn. Set the woodwind and let's check it out. Area effect. Aim for the highlighted tile so it can eat three orcs simultaneously. The thief's level 1 skill is the sneaky strike. This attack can dish out a lot of damage, but only if your target is facing away from you. 
since there are no orc in range facing away from you, delay your turn and let them act first. Okay. The elf is exposed, she's for Carter. Position her behind cover. Okay, here. This is tiny which will randomly hit up to two target in a two tile radius around the last target. Select the elven ricochet. Okay. Shoot the orc on the highlighted tile to have a good chance of hitting the other orcs. Be careful, it also might also it might also eat your friends. It is an elven technique after all. Finally, an orc is vulnerable to your sneaky strike. Sneak behind them. I'll finish this combat as you will fit. Here you go, good victory, don't forget to take your loot and to heal our characters before the next fight. Take all and heal everyone. to help them before they get overwhelmed. Begin combat when you're ready. Now that the ranger is equipped with a secondary weapon, he has the new tactical option, he can perform ranged attack. Play your turn as you fit. Barbarian is a powerful nimble fighter, he can move a little further than his companion and he hits hard. However, his protection is rather low and his hit chance is not that good. The good thing with the Barbarian is that he is rather straightforward. His first skill Steel Barrage target all three tiles in front of him. Set the Steel Barrage and let's check out what happens if you attack those three orcs. Another one bites the dust. Leaving the spot is still too dangerous for now, as you would 
getting hit by two opportunity attack you don't have much choice there you should end your turn your enemies have skill too those all can knock you down although there's a chance to resist this thanks to your physical resistance a knock it down character will skip the turn and is easier to hit mm. Hardwarf is a noble descendant of the giddy shiny ass as such was predestined to an adventurer's life he has enough hit point to endure a, a, the charge of a rabbit troll but is rather slow he loves heavy armor, shields and gold coins Dwarf is in trouble, weakened and surrounded he may very well die before the next turn if you leave him like this time to talk about defensive stance it's a skill that all of your characters know The defensive stance raises your character's protection and physical resistance until the next turn. It will also protect them from critical hits. However, a character who is in defensive stance cannot perform in any opportunity attacks. Defense stance can be cancelled if the character gets turned, knocked down or scared. The shorter path to your companion is blocked by crates. Thankfully, some elements of the environment can be destroyed, like fragile looking crates. Usually it takes two hits to break them, but the ogre is so brutal, you can destroy them in one in one. Plus he cannot miss his this attack. He just got hit by a critical hit and the barbarian is, is now unconscious. He is not fully knocked out yet but you'll have a limited number of turns to rescue him while a healing spell or no wait a healing spell or potion. The wizard has a spell of cure. It's not very well but it can be used at a range of 5 tower. enemy can immobilize you with a crippling strike an immobilized character can still act normally but cannot move anymore okay
Okay, let's print here so we can take the bonus attack, the super bonus. Your enemies are fleeing. They, they will try to run to the yellow area that just appeared. You won't make as much experience if they make it. In some battles there won't be a retreat area and they'll, they'll try to fight to their last breath. Stop them before they reach the retreat area. Okay, he, he is in overwatch. Forward in the dark halfway of the dungeons of Nobel Hook. I'm hearing some vague chanting in the distance. 
This room might be trapped. Beware. We should find some other way. I don't listen to you anymore. You're a downer and you bum me out. I just have a survival instinct. Kevin! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's with all the shit talking? Look at them kissy buddies. <laughs> Dang it. A trap. I told you so. You should have detected this trap. No one asked me to. <laughs> huh? You... Well, it's official. I'm going to ignore the thief now. Anyway, now we're asking you. Would you mind looking out for traps, please? Well, I'll see what I can do. We'll keep our wasting our time with this guy. Neutralizing a trap is a risky endeavor, which could bring one to a gruesome end. I've got a bad feeling about this. A trap is a staple of dungeoning and can be very dangerous for your team. Thankfully, the thief can detect them. To the trap detection mode, choose the thief as a leader. Okay. Taking trap is good, but disarming it is better. Once he has spotted a trap, the thief can try to disarm it. Get closer to the statue and interact with him. Slowly pull on the latch. Well done. That's one less trap to worry about. After successfully disarming trap, the thief can add a bomb to the inventory. You can keep it on his belt to grant him more tactical option. Durandil Swords with Durandil Swords, friend of all warlords. Okay. Yeah, but what species could look at a goblin and want to have its babies? Mix violence and alcohol and bam! Anything can happen. Here we have our squinty eyed ranger, our headstrong barbarian, voracious ogre, an almost but not quite wizard, a gawky elf, a chicken shit thief, and a dwarf. You know, just a dwarf. Welcome, dear contestants. Have a go at our wheel and discover your destiny with our sponsor, Gut Helm Helmets. With a Gut Helm Helmet, you can ransack an entire kingdom. If there's loot to be made, we should trade. We'll kill him after. Come on, I'm giving this shit a spin. Wait, wait, wait. Be careful. This game could be cursed in some way. Friendly contestants just won 5,000 gold coins, courtesy of our sponsor, Gordon. Oh no, what a stroke of bad luck. You just what? lost- Did we lose everything? Come on, don't fret. You can decide to stop playing now or go for one last spin. It's not such a good idea to keep going. No, just one more. I'm going to win it. Come on. Sponsor Easy Dungeon. With Easy Dungeon, you'll be home for luncheon.
This time it's for you. This battle is going to be a tough one. Position your character as you will fit. just got it by this leshed tendon cytosophy. This is a really nasty one as you will lose some mid points for every tile you are traverse. Hmm. A patrol is about to get involved. When reinforcements are coming, you'll see them appear on the border of the combat area one turn before they arrive. The red zone indicates where they'll come in. Of course, you could occupy this zone, but then they'll just position themselves right next to it.
<laughs> Yahoo! That's what I call an incantation! The enemy has a red shoulder plate and elite. Elite tends to be stronger. Okay. Let's focus! Famous company of of uh, us.
potions taste icky. with goblins is that it's always a plural noun. Kill them all. Like the ranger has gained enough experience, click on next when you're ready. We got him good. Easy. He's gone. So is his wheel. Pernicious parsley pies. The only thing left of him is that amulet. It has the same symbol as that magic seal. Who gives a shit? It's made of gold. It's mine. Wait, magic items can be very dangerous. Who gives a shit? Oh, I don't feel so bad. Help me! You can access the cartel sheet and skill tree. Open up. Okay, on the left you'll find the cartel sheet. Here you'll find your channel. Raise them when you gain a level. This is also where you can check your experience meter. Statistic you can rise at your main attributes. Dexterity influence your, your chance, movement, strength. Okay, finally, charisma. Your secondary attributes are directly influenced by your main attributes. You can see the changes in green. On the right is your skill tree. Each card there is one. Okay. Move over skill to get more detail. A real leader needs real skill. Here you find a description of your skill. This will display the area effect, cold and period, the endurance cost. Now allocate your table point to choose your skill and confirm the leveling process by pressing confirm. Okay. We have two points. Let's take them this encourage. Okay. I 
have a passive skill the range can now wear heavy armor this is way more useful than stuffing chairs okay hello noble adventurers would you be interested in some magication hi are you a wizard oh goodness me I'd never I'm a farm magician Pirin, Tobias Pirin. Our magician. I create magical, magical medication. It's called oh, magical. What's it for? Does it actually work or is it? Both? For example, I have amazing preparations for people who quit drinking or to get rid this of. This is a rather unlikely. Well, it's cheap. I got this spot for peanuts. I'm currently just setting up. I thought that no one had ever. Oh, quite the contrary. It's very popular. My sponsor. Some hooded guy we met at Twisted Bay. Yeah, typical hire. Uh, say, why did you have you seen a dwarf? He's. Also looking for the third statuator grand. No, the statuator. I thought it was the dragon. That's not it. It's never heard of it. <laughs> I need to look. Some areas are open to the public. Take the stairs. This is all a bit unknown. Our victorious party travels forth in its quest for the statuette and their vertically challenged companion, who disappeared after taking hold of a mysterious animal. You've got the basic now. You are free to explore the dungeons on your own. You can find those tips and many others in the game. Find the dwarf. Okay, guys. I think I show you enough. The demo is. Uh, is available on Steam. You find the link in the description below. Please let me know what what you think about in in the comments and if you like the video please share and subscribe. Ciao!